Hey, welcome to the That's Good Broncos podcast, the only podcast on earth that's got a brand new head coach named Nathaniel Hackett. I'm Brandon Pernick, here with Will Keys at Guillermo Yaves on Twitter. Follow him. I'm on Twitter at Brandon Perna. Do not follow me. Today's episode sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. Use code DNVR when you sign up over at DraftKings. And of course, my coffee company, BenchWarmerBrew.com. Will, the news broke early, very early this morning. So Shockingly early. early that the Broncos <laughs> decided to hire Nathaniel Hackett as their next head coach. We've talked about him a handful of times here on uh, the podcast. We got ourselves a little jazzed for Kevin O'Connell earlier in the week. Dan Quinn apparently is going back to the Cowboys, and we'll just assume that's because he only wanted the Broncos, and this is the most enticing job on earth, in that since the Broncos hired Packers offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett, he's going to bring Aaron Rodgers with him, and everything in Denver is fucking going to be saved. Correct? Yeah, no, you you hit the nail right on the head. It was weird. So apparently the news was supposed to break at like 1230 last night, which I, that would have been a disaster. I know I was asleep. I'm, I'm going to yeah, go asleep. out on a limb and say you were asleep too. But they, yeah. uh, they postponed it a little bit. And he was kind of the first domino to fall because – uh, immediately after the Bears hire Matt Eberflus, the uh, Colts defensive coordinator, there's another guy I think too. Um, I th- were the Jags? No, 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 no. Someone was going to uh, hire Byron Leftwich, maybe, or interview him. Either way. Um, oh, Vic Fangio is interviewing for the Jags head coaching job now. Oh, have fun, man. Because <laughs> the the contracts talks with for left which stalled or something so yeah they what a clown Andrew, organization yeah he might have already interviewed there so when hackett was in denver uh we went on airplane watch via andrew mason's twitter because he was mm-hmm. leaving the centennial airport on a private plane that was stalled delayed we thought he might get hired earlier in the week but there was a Jaguars team playing in Denver at the same time, apparently. And people thought mm. the Jags were trying to get Hackett and bring him back to Jacksonville. Apparently that plane was there to pick up Vic Fangio to take him to Jacksonville to interview for the job. So the point is nobody really wants the Jags job. No. And <laughs> I now- would, if I were Vic Fangio, I would do kind of a rehab stint as a defensive coordinator. Yeah. And and then, <laughs> then move back to head coach, but you know maybe he wanted a quarterback. He gets his quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Um, but so I was thinking about it, and they couldn't have gone more 180 degrees away from Fangio than they get with Hackett. Not just offensively versus defensively, but in terms of personality. Like if you want, uh, you know, the biggest example there of how different these guys are. Vic Fangio didn't like music at practice. Uh, Nathaniel Hackett used to teach hip hop classes back in college. <laughs> uh, hip hop dancing classes, I should say. Uh, his favorite nice. musical artist is Justin Timberlake. Wow. He's a big NSYNC fan. He's a Star Wars guy. Um, he is a he's a quirky fellow. Which he's funny. He's, he's a funny, funny guy. He's a funny guy, um, and I think that's that's great. You know, if you're winning, I think any personality type gets grading if you're not winning as a head coach. Um, but I think, I think it'll last them a lot longer than the tough guy act that a lot of coaches put up, but this is a, uh, this is a different kind of head coach. I think he's going to become a media darling, like almost immediately. I think people are going to love his mic'd up sessions. Um, Oh God. I put so many clips (laughs) in the episode that I just uploaded. No, there's some great ones. Like even in, you know, even when things are, uh, you know, sunshine and rainbows in green bay and you're winning 13 games a year go back to jacksonville like those mic'd up clips are totally the same yeah uh, he's not just you know happy they're winning he's happy to be a head coach um he was a neurobiology student at uc davis and was about to become a uh, a doctor before he decided to pursue coaching his dad he's was like- the offensive coordinator for the chiefs from 1993 to 1997 um uh ultimately like the 
I think the game they that got him fired was ball boy at one point. It feels like uh, every <laughs> every great like figure in sports was a ball boy at some point. I, I kind of regret. I regret that my parents never pushed me into uh, the ball boy path because I, I think yeah. that would have been pretty good. Um, you know, that's beside the point though. Uh, you want a ball boy. You want a former ball boy as a head coach. I don't think Vic Fangio is ever a ball boy. No. But yeah, I, I guess my he predates my ball boys. Is, Fangio yeah. was too old to be a ball boy. <laughs> he was he was a ball boy back when the balls were like, uh, you know, basically like basketball shaped, and you couldn't throw them. <laughs> <laughs> that back when they only had one ball. <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> Just one game ball. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <clears throat> totally so, yeah. 180. Complete 180. You said neurobi- he was going to be a uh, neurobiologist? What was it? He was studying uh, neurobiology, was on track to go to med school, and then decided uh, so he's like, you know, I'm going to be a head coach like my dad. Or a- Being a doctor, too easy. Let me go Some be a coach. head coach. Let me challenge myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so get outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, the comparison there is uh, what um, uh, Matt Patricia, because he was like an aerospace engineer, right? So real big, yeah, brain, that went well. <laughs> but he didn't have the people skills. Hack it. He has people skills. Yes, uh, Aaron Rodgers was talked him up how he can cap- captivate a room, and that he looked like. Aaron Rodgers basically said going to work is fun with Hackett and Getze. Now, Getze is the Packers quarterbacks coach, and we thought that would be like the lock to come in and be the OC for the Broncos. But it looks like their first choice is the offensive line slash run game coordinator. Uh, what, What the hell is his name? I just did the video about him. I just spoke his name. Damn it. Let me, let me find him. Run game coordinator. Come on, Brandon, you moron. Is it Adam Stenovich? Stenovich. There we go. There go. Nice. Pete Stoyanovich, Adam Stenovich. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're looking to interview him as the possible OC. And I know Packers fans really like him. He's really well respected within the organization. And the defensive coordinator, uh, Ejero Evero, that's kind of a surprise name because I've I've never heard of him. But apparently he was close to getting the de- defensive coordinator job for the Packers last year. He's the Rams uh, passing game coordinator for their defense. So that's a likely interview for the D.C. job. But. I think that's all we know about filling those two important positions right now. Yeah, apparently it's kind of um, frowned upon to take an offensive coordinator and his kind of right hand man, his potential successor, because that leaves and his and their quarterback and their quarterback. <laughs> yeah, I think that's really frowned upon. Uh, but they might help us out with that. I mean, that's like the I haven't even thought about that really, but um, I don't think that's. I don't think that was the deciding factor. Um, I think they really just liked him as a head coach. I mean, so much so that Dan Quinn doesn't get a second interview. Kevin O'Connell doesn't get a second interview. They're just like, no, we've got our guy. Yeah. He's here. Let's do it. Don't let the Jaguars interview him. No, second interview must have went really well. And clearly they went to Los Dos, a Mexican food restaurant. Los Dos, uh, a lot of heat for going to Los Dos. Very divided here in Broncos country. Yeah. Uh, it's a good Mexican restaurant. It's not the best Colorado has to offer, but our Denver has to offer. Uh, I mean, you've, there's, but it worked. It worked. And apparently uh, Hackett had a margarita there. Hmm. And once good you choice. take once you the advice the marg- of Jen Saki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Once you have the marg, you're the guy. Now, what? Uh, what were when? Okay, so was my text? Did my text break the news to you, Will? It did. Or did you see it on Twitter? Ah, what were your feelings when you saw the text? 
Uh, Besides, I was so like, surprised. oh shit, I got to start working. After that, f- fluttered away. I was very happy that I did most of the script in advance. Um, yeah, that was. Will had big everybody should know. Will had a, a Dan Quinn script ready, a Hackett squi- script ready, and an O'Connell script ready. And in terms of thoroughness, Hackett was number one. We had the most info in on Hackett, the most jokes ready to go, and uh, it seems like yep. it was destiny. Um, our, our our guy on Twitter, Mile High Memories, uh, suggested hacking off. Hacking off. As a nickname. Ooh. I like it. I like yes. it. There's a lot. Of, he's going to be a really good source of content. Yeah. I think in the years to come, hopefully decades to come. Um, this is this is like a relief, I think. My feelings were I'm relieved. I was I was really warming up to Kevin O'Connell um, the past few days, but I get it. Like the Rams could go to the Super Bowl very easily, and you wouldn't be able to hire him uh, until like you know late part of February. And yeah, that's that's tough. Like you want to get your guys in the building. Um, you hire your guy in late February. Like <laughs> you got the draft in two months. You got free agency in a few weeks. Like yeah, let's get let's. You're scrambling for Let's coordinators and yeah. coaching assistants and all that stuff. Yeah, the, suddenly the pool gets um, a lot smaller. And so, you know, maybe maybe it was even with O'Connell and Hackett, and they just said, Hackett's available. Let's not let him get away. Let's do this now. Yeah. He, you know, number one, most important thing, of any Broncos head coach I can remember, he has the best sense of humor. And that will that will sit well in my soul. Yeah, now, definitely the best sense of humor since Wade Phillips. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, you know, maybe Wade joins in not as a coaching assistant, but just as like uh, like his Andy Richter, you know, at the podium. You got Hackett and then you got Wade Phillips there chime in with something funny here and there yeah and andy i want the andy Richter, the swedish german according to norm mcdonald yeah <laughs> <laughs> go check out that youtube clip comedy gold um how do you feel you want, how, how did you feel when you saw the news sorry to interrupt the uh draft kings ad read i will tell you how i felt will <laughs> after if you want gold i had a segue damn it draft king sportsbook <laughs> shit the uh, four teams remain in the NFL playoffs, and that means only four teams left for you to bet on at DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Now, with Super Bowl 56 coming up, new customers can get 56 to 1 odds on any team that's in the playoffs. You know, you get, they got to be playing this weekend. Bet $5, and you can get 280 in free bets if your team wins. And if you're not a new customer, that's okay. You can experience... The conference championships with same game parlays combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the faster you can run and the more money you can win. And the more often you have to shave your legs for speed. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. (laughs) Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your cash at your convenience. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook. You just got to use code DNVR. DNVR. No vowels. where the podcast goes through here and YouTube. But once you do that code, you're going to get those 56 to one odds on any NFL team. That's $5 to win 280 in free bets. If your team wins code DNVR for 56 to one odds, DraftKings Sportsbook again, official sports betting partner at the NFL. You got to be 21 or older, Colorado only new customers, only restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem. Call 1-800-522-4700. Uh, what was, how did I feel when I heard the news? Yeah. Good. I felt very good. good. I think when we did the pod Monday or Tuesday, I said Hackett was my top choice by the end of the episode. Like we kind of were getting, getting high on, uh, Kevin O'Connell, but I would have been fine with either. I really like this choice. And it is because he's a guy who can, in theory, call the plays and be the head coach. So mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about the revolving door of offensive coordinators. 
I do like his personality and not just because he's funny, but because I think it's like it's that type of attitude where if you watch his mic'd up segments, watch his press conferences, watch him teaching football, and it's like he really enjoys it. And I think that transfers to the players. If you keep the environment players are working and practicing in, especially when shit gets tough, kind of light and like that passion, I think translates to players. So I'm excited about that because that does feel very different than what we've had before. Yeah. Not just Vic Fangio, who good defensive coach had the defense playing great and that, that works, but like, and I don't, I'm not even trying to just shit on Pat Shermer for no reason. <laughs> Watching him like at practice or it, I never heard anybody say like, oh man, Pat Shermer's out there. This guy enjoys guys his job. excited to do anything. He wasn't even on the sidelines during the games. Like we haven't had somebody since like Brock Olivo and that did not work out, but who, who brought like real energy <laughs> to uh the broncos in terms of coach you know wade phillips uh before him so that's what i'm excited about and also obviously the fucking link to aaron Rodgers is real and yeah. that gives that a little more substance and again nobody knows it doesn't matter at all that aaron Rodgers likes nathaniel hackett if aaron Rodgers decides to go back to green bay or to retire two things he could definitely do but if he decides he wants to come back and play and it's not for the Packers, this makes the Broncos a much it, more enticing spot it could be for Aaron Rodgers. The thing that puts it over the top. Exactly. And so, okay, so I just saw a tweet and it's kind of a compilation of Packers coaches or Packers players reacting to Hackett getting hired. Uh, MVS, wide receiver, said, one of the absolute best human beings and smartest coaches around – Man, this makes my heart happy seeing great people get rewarded. I wish my guy nothing but the absolute best. Yes. Uh, let's see. Kurt Benkert, who is the backup quarterback, says MBS is going to be a free agent, I think. That's so true. Maybe, yeah, he's an unrestricted Maybe he's free trying agent. to get a, a look <laughs> yeah. uh, by a different team, but continue. Wouldn't mind that. Kurt Benkert, this is a W for the Broncos. Good luck, coach. And he did, he did the rock on emoji. Uh, Alan Kurt, Lazard AKA just did Tom Grassi's co-host next Tom Grassi's best friend, uh, game streamer, Alan Lazard, uh, smiling single tear emoji. Ooh, happiness. And then AJ Dillon says, congratulations to coach Hackett and his family. Truly an amazing coach handshake emoji. So Packers players really, really liked him. Yep. Um, he sounds like he is, you know, the foremost people person yes, out there. That's and great. He kind of represents like a, a, a shift away from, you know, the Greg Shianos, the Tom Coughlins of the NFL to um, a guy that matches the culture in the NFL right now. And yeah. he's very player first. And I think he's going to empower them, <laughs> give them the tools to succeed. Yeah, I think it was a it's a solid move. And again, you can be a very good coach. If you don't have a quarterback, it's very hard. It is very difficult. It doesn't mean you can't be successful. But with the quarterback currently on the roster, Drew Locke, worst case scenario, say the Broncos don't or can't draft, they don't whatever quarterback they want, they can't draft him. They don't get a free agent. Hackett is the kind of guy who comes in and actually gives Drew Locke a chance to succeed. Yeah. If, I don't think that's going to, I don't think Drew Locke's going to be the guy. I, well, I mean, he could be on the roster uh, for sure. But like, if we were still all in on Drew Locke, this is a great head coach to have because he's going to coach up Drew Locke. He's going to work his offensive scheme to fit Drew Locke's strengths. And instead of trying to make Drew Locke fit what he wants to do, so worst case scenario, maybe Drew Locke performs really well with Hackett. Now we both think a free agent will come in or they're going to draft a guy, but like that's what you want. And that's what did not happen with Fangio, especially after they moved on from Scangarello to Shermer. It was just a mess. Brought in Teddy, didn't work. 
So, like, having a guy who's going to develop a QB, great. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is, okay, like, I know the you... most excited I've been since the Broncos beat the shit out of the Cowboys, basically. Yeah. No, I'm with you there. Uh, I know you have to run, but I want to leave you with this. We have a new head okay. coaching hire. Uh-oh. Who is it? Breaking news. Jeff Fisher to the Michigan Panthers of the USFL. Oh, <laughs> of the USFL? Yeah. Oh. I think I'm a Michigan Panthers fan. <laughs> I know what video I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> US, because the USFL has hired... Well, this will fill out their coaching roster. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to drop uh, Jeff Fisher returns to football. <laughs> <laughs> what Amazing. kind of football? It doesn't matter. USFL. Good for Jeff. Great for Jeff. All righty. Yes, I got to go pick up my daughter. Will, thank you for jumping on this as quickly as I could make it available to you. Certainly. We'll see what news comes with Hackett. If anything significant happens, we'll be on top of it with another pod. If not, we'll talk to you guys next week. And the Patreon hangout is tonight. Uh, 745, 745 Mountain Mountain. Standard Mountain. 645 Pacific, 945 East. Good night. John Elway plays entire career without an ACL. And Nathaniel Hackett says good luck.